Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Hot Belleron with me, Simulation for the Nation. Today, we're going to be looking into how to make your crops look even more realistic in Farming Simulator 22. We're standing here by our wheat field, uh, which we're actually starting to plow through. We've been able to buy this field here recently. Uh, we're plowing this one over ahead of some spring drilling, and eventually, these two fields are going to become one. But for right now, it is just one field of wheat. The crop texture itself looks pretty good. But there is a way that we can make this look even better. And we're going to run through that with you today. Uh, take notes. Uh, make sure that the first thing you do, though, is save the farming simulator folder. Now, we'll show you how to do that and where to find that in just a minute. So let's go. So then, folks, what we need to do is find where your game file is located. Mine, for example, is in my C drive, and it's under Programs, brackets, x86, and we have Farming Simulator 22. You get to click on this. Now, all of this data is what we need to have saved elsewhere. Make sure you copy this whole uh, Farming Simulator page uh, file here. Save it onto a hard drive or to a different file or a different drive internally. I have all of these different drives here I can put it onto. And just you want to do that because if, you, if anything does happen to your, your data, you want to be able to copy those files across rather than having to reinstall the whole game. Once you've done that, you're going to click on the data. You're going to come into foliage. Now, this is where we have all of the foliage for all the different crop types. We're going to try with wheat here. Uh, and I, what we're going to do is I've already opened up the file, but you're going to look at this file here. This is the XML file for the crop type. When you open it, it should look a little bit like this guy here. And this is what we want to have a look into. What we're going to be changing to make some nice straight drilled lines is going to be the horizontal position variance and also the width variance. You want to change those both to 0, 0.0. Now that's 0, 0.0 for width variance and 0, 0.0 for horizontal position variance. Once you've done that, we can save this and we can exit out. Uh, and once done, we'll save. Lovely stuff. Next thing that we want to do is you need to change the number of blocks per unit. This starts at about 2.1. Now, this uh, changes how dense the crop looks. Now, what we need to be careful about with this is if you go too high, it is going to have an impact on your FPS. And it's also going to look a little bit too ridiculous. So what we're going to do is I've uh, the default here was 2.1. I've just kicked up to 2.3 to see how we get on. Uh, I don't know if it changes based on your graphical limitations for your car, for your computer, uh, but we'll have a look. See, that's what you want to change. The best thing I can su suggest to do there is just to change up nominally and by little variances every so often. Uh, but with that being said, I've gone through and I've already saved all these. Got 2.3, 2.3, all the way through. Uh, we can save out now and then we can close this. We're going to boot back into Farm Sim and we'll see just how that looks. So we're back at the same location there and you can see that we now have... Get out of here, crows. We now have some drill lines that look very faint in there, but you can see that everything is drilled in a line and looks a little bit more organized, which... When you see your crop looking like this, I think that's what you want to see. The crop's already tilled out a bit here, so it's a bit thicker, but it's nice to have a thicker crop, and you can, like I say, just see the faint drill lines here still, which is what you really want to do. If I add in our developer console here, and go for a little bit of a fly up, you can see it even more pronounced now. Nice little lines across the field, and also that way a little bit there now as well. So I think that's really good. Now, as for the, uh, the density... You know, I don't think it's looking all too bad. There's maybe a little bit of scope to increase it and improve it there, but we're not talking too much, which is good. I don't want to go too crazy with it. I don't want to uh, go, go overboard, but as you'll also see, rock solid 60 FPS as well. Nothing has changed from that perspective. So overall, we're looking pretty handy there, really. Now, you do have to go through and do this for every single crop type, like I mentioned, but it's totally worth it, in my opinion. There, It's something that will have a huge effect on your... Uh, on your your immersion in my perspective this makes the crops feel a little bit more realistic giants do set it a little bit more of a, a setback reduced uh, texture and uh, density just so it doesn't have quite so much of an impact so if you have a really high end pc you can crank it right up there and make it as dense as you would like it to be but for me i like it we i, I like it an awful lot there it doesn't do uh it's not a huge adjustment there but it's just the little things that you can see when you're driving around in the tractor that really do help uh, what we'll do is, as this crop grows as well, we'll keep an eye on it to, to show you what that looks like as it continues to increase. Uh, it will take a bit of time to go through every single crop, crop type and do this. You can also change the height in there as well. Uh, so if you want to make your grass a little taller, for example, you can do that too. Uh, so it's, it just takes a little bit of trial and error to see what works out for you. Uh, but that's how you change the crop 
thickness, density, and height of your Cropson Farming Simulator 22. I hope you have enjoyed this. I have been Simulation for the Nation. Just a very quick tutorial here. If you would like any further tutorials or guides such as this, then please do let me know, and uh, we will see what we can do for you. Until next time, though, I hope you have enjoyed. If you haven't, you've yet to do so, do subscribe for more, and I shall see you all in the next one. Until then, do stay safe, enjoy what you're doing as always, and we'll catch you later.